In our fast-paced and volatile corporate economy, I have a compelling and painfully familiar story that played out within the walls of a high-powered C-suite. This story delves into the complex web of decisions that often trap chief operating officers, operation managers, and plant managers at the crossroads of transformation. Here's a story of one CEO who was mandated to orchestrate swift and drastic operational changes, changes that would reshape the company's destiny, and it had to be done immediately. This company experienced rapid expansion thanks to an ambitious CEO who craved exponential growth above all else. This relentless pursuit had its consequences. It exposed cracks in the company's organization and processes, turning minor operational hiccups into a volcano of issues that were exposed everywhere. Across the factory floor, a multitude of work in progress lay scattered, inventories ballooned uncontrollably, and overtime costs drained the company's reserves at an alarming rate. The workforce, plagued by inadequate training and an incessant revolving door of new hires, contributed heavily to downtime, defects, and endless rework. Outside the factory walls, vendors had grown impatient because of late payments. Late shipments and incorrect orders filled the air with disgruntled customer complaints and a rising tide of returns. The COO in the eye of the storm was preoccupied with his single-minded mission, cost-cutting anywhere and everywhere. Employees suffer the most from cost cuts. In this whirlwind of chaos, I approached the COO, offering to create multiple operational improvement scenarios from a different perspective. I told him that improving quality could actually reduce costs while simultaneously boosting customer satisfaction and cash flow. Unfortunately, he couldn't quite grasp this interconnectedness. He was determined to stick with his plan to cut costs, oblivious to the unintended consequences lurking all over the enterprise. Determined to make a difference, I crafted a final plan that actually astonished other leaders in the organization. I devised a machine enhancement that had been proven to increase total production output by up to 20%, an innovation that would not only ensure a boost in quality and also slash defects and costs, but most importantly, increase cash flow and customer satisfaction. Yet despite its potential, the COO relegated my plan to the bottom of the priority list overshadowed by his relentless obsession with cost-cutting. It was a pivotal moment. I realized that it was time for me to move on to other engagements where my commitment to quality and holistic problem-solving could find a more receptive audience. This tale serves as a warning for organizations facing urgent cost-cutting pressures caused by rapid growth, economic conditions, or downsizing. Instead of isolated cost-cutting measures, top management must initiate collaborative, cross-departmental, quality improvement committees that discover the constraints preventing fast-tracking operational optimization. You must also replace SOPs and hard-to-understand equipment manuals with quality operating procedures that trains and empowers frontline workers to control and improve quality throughout production. Prioritizing quality ensures survival, resilience, and long-term success that future-proofs the organization.